So, we are at the wind tunnel facility of University of Rostock, as you can see there, in Great Nandrum. So, where we are investigating currently some special wind turbine blades profile. So, there is a special kind of flow control method which we are going to apply on the wind turbine blade and hopefully will definitely increase uh, significantly the efficiency and other aerodynamic properties of that. So, let's see how we are going to do it. Let's come in. So right now we are in the wind tunnel facility, actually um, standing right in the middle of the test section of that large wind tunnel. So let me just give you a brief introduction how large this wind tunnel facility is. So here you see the main diffuser where the wind is coming from. So the wind comes from the diffuser and goes in this direction. The maximum velocities we can achieve at this facility are 60 meters per second. That's a quite large number. And the size of the test section, but you can imagine that uh, two people can easily accommodate within this test section. It is about one meter to one meter, or a bit larger than one meter to one meter. Now, let me introduce you the object that uh, we are investigating right now is that wind turbine blade, the model of a wind turbine blade. So normally called the NACA aerofoil, what we are investigating right now is that uh, NACA aerofoil 0021. The most interesting thing is these, these small structures on the leading edge of this aerofoil, these are called tubercles. So tubercles are found actually on the humpback of a whale in the nature. And these tubercles help whale despite its large weight, which it's, you know, that whales are quite massive um, things that, uh, so these tubercles help these whales um, despite their um, huge weight to move agile through the water and perform some maneuvers and to catch their prey. So these tubercles actually improve the hydrodynamics of that whale significantly. So we have replicated those tubercles and applied it to a wind turbine blade to see if these tubercles also help to improve the aerodynamics of that um, aerofoil. So we have placed that aerofoil with the tubercles on the test stand and we will measure the resulting uh, quantities like uh, the force, uh, the different forces like the lift, which would be in our case applied in this direction, and the drag, which would be applied in our case in this direction. So both of these forces are measured by the sensors placed on a small stand combined with uh, some complex electronics that all thing is found beneath this water surface. So that's a black box where all the sensors are combined and the results are submitted to the control unit, where we can observe all the quantities in a real time. So let's go to the control unit. So right now we are sitting uh, in the control unit of the wind tunnel where we observed and control the object that is being investigated in the wind tunnel. The main quantities that we measure are the humidity, the temperature, the total temperature, the barometric pressures, atmospheric pressures. So these are the main things which we measure just to 
be able to compare our results with the results or with the investigations that are being performed uh, at any place, at any other place in the world. And as far as the object is concerned, we are measuring a lift, the drag, and the local pressure, the static pressures that are being applied on the surface. So these stat static pressures, we, we, we are measuring using some special pressure sensors and the electronics, which we have, of course, uh, developed indigenously um, at our institute. And Hathleen, she has been support, su supporting us uh, during all our measurements. So she has been so nice that uh, she was available uh, all the time for us and have been assisting us really uh, to perform all of our measurements.